Cabinetry. Um, let's talk about cabinetry. So a lot of my factory built competitors say they build their own cabinets and they do and that's fine. We're not in that business because we want to offer you a lot of flexibility. Cabinets um, are like a lot of things in technology. They're growing in speed and how fast new products are developing. And a lot of my factory built competitors or a lot of the old custom builders just can't keep up with some of what some of these you know major companies are doing in um, cooking cabinets and dish racks and wine racks and some of that stuff's been around forever, but some of it's you know very new and and trying to keep up with trends would be very very hard if you build your own cabinet. So we outsource our cabinet construction and we're going to give you the ability to upgrade your quality levels on your cabinets and your um, you know your style and your design levels on your cabinets as well. So with all of our homes, we like to start with entry level. We like to start with affordability. It's one of the founding principles of why we build the way we build. We we'll start with affordability, and we're going to allow you, allow you, our customer, to upgrade yourself as much as you really want to, all the way to the mountain. Um, so we're going to start with uh, all of our cabinets are actually going to have soft closed doors on them. That's a really nice fe- feature on both the base and the overhead. You, that's something you can turn off. It's a hinge function that you can turn off if you don't like that, but most people leave it on. Um, we're going to start with a half depth shelf and furniture board drawer, uh, drawer style um, that has like a, a kind of a soft close to it, not a whisper soft catch, but a, a soft close to it. Very, very nice cabinet. But if you want to upgrade that half depth shelf in the base cabinet to a rollout tray, you can. If you want to upgrade your drawer, and I really recommend looking into this with your builder to a full, uh, you know, plywood construction drawer box that's dovetailed, that's full extension, that's undermount guides, so you don't have to be seeing that metal piece and has that ultimate, you know, whisper catch close where I can try to slam it, it's going to catch an inch out and it's going to it's going to suck close very gently. You can upgrade your cabinets to that at a very very affordable price with us. So again, we're going to allow you to start entry level. We're going to let you spend as much money as you want to on your cabinets. Um, as far as design too, I'm going to pick on my factory built competitors because, you know, in, in building your own cabinets, you're, you're committing to being dedicated to inventory levels of material that then you're either staining or you're bringing in, you know, at a stain color and, um, it limits you in how fast you can grow. You know, blue cabinets have been all the rage in the last year. We were able to jump into them very quickly, whereas a lot of my factory built competitors can't do that quickly um you know green cabinets are currently kind of up and coming so we're watching that and again it's something that if we really wanted to we might be able to jump into very very quickly as opposed to my competitor who only wants to carry you know two skews of color and then it takes a long time for them to use that material up and to change that material over so within our um within our uh option group we've got Um, I want to say three different door styles that are standard and each one of those door styles is available in at least two different uh, cabinet wood types, either oak and maple or maple and hickory or oak and hickory, depending on which style it is and what, what, what looks good with that. And then stain levels, you know, I think we have three or four stains and three or four paints already. So we're talking about eight different finishes on three different cabinets. So you're really, really going to be able to customize the look of your kitchen, of your bathroom. Um, You know, using our components, you can really turn it into whatever kind of house look you're going for. And you don't, I'm I'm not talking about getting on the internet and searching for years about what cabinet you want to buy and exactly what stain and style. I'm talking, we have this information at your fingertips already. It's in all of our literature and it's, it's simple to understand. Do you want a group A cabinet? They cost this much. Do you want a group B cabinet? They cost this much per house. So very simple system to understand, very flexible system to help you design your house. Um, like I said recently, paints seem to be all the trend. So we're doing blue painted cabinets. We're doing a ton of white painted cabinets. Natural woods are coming back as well. We've started to do a lot of natural hickory. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm battling on a little bit because uh, it's, it is an important part of your house, but we do have a lot to offer there as well. So that's something um, that's going to be a really fun part of designing your home picking out the style, picking out the stain, picking out the paint, and then picking out the toy cabinets too. Like I said, base pots and pan drawers, base pantries, overhead pantries. Uh, We've got a pantry cabinet that has, you know, two swing out racks in it that make, you know, a 24 inch deep pantry so functional that you're not going to lose a bag of chips in the back anymore uh, that your kids will find six weeks later and still try to eat like mine do. So 
lots to play with in the cabinet world. That's something that's going to be really fun to help you design your house, and we're excited to offer so much of that stuff. Again, compared to a lot of my factory-built competitors who don't offer much because they're worried about inventory levels. Um, And then on top of your cabinets is going to be your countertops, and we're going to be standard, again, with an affordable quality material we're going to have laminate countertops now we won't go down to the point of giving you a laminate that is really susceptible to damage i would argue that a self edge laminate product you know especially for me it's right at my belt height where that uh where that countertop hits my waist and so as i'm leaning against the countertop you know cutting something or grabbing something i can easily put my belt on the front of that countertop and if you have a self edge or um, you know a pencil edge that has a corner to it, a bevel edge, anything with a seam in it, you're going to be able to pop that off that laminate countertop and expose the the, the inner workings of it. And um, you don't want to do that. You you want to keep your countertop material nice and dry. Uh, keep the water on top of the laminate, but keep the substrate dry when you're using the laminate countertop. They're affordable, but they're not super long lasting if you get them wet. So. What we do is we use a one-piece countertop front to back. So I'm not going to have a seam at that front lip, and I'm not going to have a seam in the back lip where over time that could come apart. And if I left, you know, a glass of water that condensated, um, you know, you're not going to have a seam in the back of my countertop where that could potentially drip down into the countertop and make it bubble or anything like that. So, again, laminate, it's great. It's affordable. It comes in so many different colors now. We've got three different color groups including the newest FX 180 colors, which are a really big deal. Um, you know, they look like marbles. They look like granites. They look like quartzes. Uh, so you can get a really, really pretty function, uh, functional um, top without having to worry about the historical problems of a laminate that had self-edging on it. Um, it is it is cheaper to go that way with the self-edging, but the reason I talk about it so much is because it's important to uh, have a long life of your countertops to not have that self-edge product. So that's where we start. You could you could start cheaper and have a self-edge countertop in the laminates, but we start out with a, with a, uh, a, a no-seam countertop. Once you want to jump past uh, laminate as far as countertops are concerned, we're going to option in some granite choices in the bathrooms. Uh, But we won't do granite in the kitchens because granite has natural fissures throughout it, you know, natural weak points. And as we're shipping these homes down the road, uh, you know, we don't want those weak points to to potentially break. Uh, And so we jump when you want to go kitchen solid service, we jump straight to quartz, super hard material, very, very durable, not a lot of maintenance to it whatsoever. It's a non-porous countertop and absolutely beautiful designs Um, we use a couple different companies that support us and we've got a lot to choose from you know your whites your grays your calcuttas uh you know some concrete looks we even got some of our quartz countertops have kind of a leathery finish to the top that would put you in mind of a soapstone really so um so between the countertops and the cabinets you're just going to have the ability to really make it your kitchen to really make it your bathroom Um, And then we've got several different sink styles that'll go in there. We've got several different faucet styles that'll go in there. So lots to choose from as far as the interior of your kitchen, as far as the interior of your bathrooms. Um, I mentioned earlier about door handles, but I didn't talk about doors yet. And I think doors are an area that we really shine. Um, You know, we offer three different styles of doors. So you've got your six panel for your traditionalist, we've got a three panel uh, that's kind of like could be a mission style. It can be modern farmhouse style. It can be contemporary style, depending on what you pair it with. And then we've also got a two panel arch style um, for those who like, again, you know, kind of a classic arch look or kind of more of a regal look. Um, and all of those door styles are available in multiple paints and multiple stain colors. So, again, you're really going to be able to customize your interior doors and you can make them match your cabinets or you can make them kind of stand out against your cabinets let's say you do that uh that nightfall color that we offer it's a dark dark blue kitchen cabinet let's say you want to do that all on your base your overhead your island and then you want to accent your uh your house with white trim and doors to make that offset from each other you can do that very very easily in our system so a lot of choices there um, and then I mentioned earlier that too, if you go, even if you stick with the eight foot sidewall, but especially if you go with the nine foot sidewall height, um, you can upgrade the size of your trim as well. So 
you know, this is another just quick reminder, you know, as you're thinking about, you know, what kind of home you want to build, whether you want to build site built, whether you're going to do panelized, whether you're going to do um, volumetric modular, which is what we do, I would, I would say how much, how easy is your builder making it on you to be this custom, to be this choosy with a lot of these really important things. And, and I would argue that we make it very, very simple. And Hopefully you, you see the same thing as you start to learn more about us and learn more about how to build your house with us. So a um, couple other things I want to cover, um, flooring and paint. Um, flooring is an area where we offer a little bit, but again, there's so much out there. Uh, that's an area that's really simple to leave off to and do on site. Now, um, we've got linoleums. We've got a good quality 35-ounce Shaw carpet that we do standard put your carpet pad in the house as well. Uh, we don't install the carpet. Your carpet needs to be properly stretched out at a, at a pretty high temperature. And we don't always have that high temperature out here in our production facility, as well as, you know, we're building in modules and we don't want to put seams on the module breaks for you. So if you're, if you're, if your modular home construction factory is installing your carpet, I would say, ask them some questions about how they're seaming that together. Um, you know, and, and, and how they're installing that. Are they putting the walls on top of it? Are they gluing it down? What kind of pads going underneath that? I would ask some questions about that because it's really a, it's really a pro, uh, excuse me, a product. Yeah. That needs to be installed on site in our opinion, plain and simple, uh, much like a hardwood needs to be installed on site. You know, that product needs to acclimate to your final home temperature. You know, let's say you, you like a home that's 70 degrees, you got your home set 70 degrees. That hardwood needs to sit at 70 degrees for three days before you install it. Here at my factory in Rochester, Indiana, currently it's about 85 degrees. So if I were to install it at that and then put it out in the yard tonight as we get here into the cooler evenings, it's going to get down to 60 degrees and then you're going to heat it back up to 70. So that's too much movement for hardwood floors. So we'll, we'll do linoleum, carpet, that's ship loose. Um, and then you can also upgrade to a floating vinyl floor, uh, a vinyl plank or a vinyl tile, luxury vinyl plank, luxury vinyl tiles. What a lot of people are calling those LVPs and LVTs. We will install those, uh, being a floating floor. You don't have to worry so much about the acclimation period. And so we can typically install maybe, you know, half your house. Again, we won't ever let a seam fall in the middle um, of your home. So we're not going to install both halves, but we would install half here, get a lot of the work done, and your builder can help you cross over the other half on site. Most builders would, are obviously going to install that for you unless you choose to say, hey, I can finish that on my own to save a little bit of money. So lots of choices, again, in the flooring area. Um, you know, you, there are a lot of mix and matching you can do with your color schemes of cabinets is going to butt up to, your doors is going to butt up to, you're going to have a ton of flexibility there. So the last thing that we're really going to do... Um, you know, is make sure that all your walls are primed and all your ceilings are primed um, and they're ready for you to paint. So uh, that's going to be all but done for you. Now, we don't actually paint colors here, finish paint colors. Again, there's just too much to choose from, but you and your builder can work, uh, work out who's going to paint what. And uh, that's really the last piece of the interior that I can think of to talk about today. Um, other than appliances, I will real quickly say that we do offer appliances. Um, we use Samsung currently. We like them because they're a killer name brand. We know they've got a good, strong warranty program. In fact, their builder warranty network has been growing over the last few years. So, um, we, that's getting better and better. And, uh, they offer the latest in tech, both in, um, in your stainless steel finish and in your black stainless uh, we offer a lot in both areas. We've got ovens that, all, uh, you know, single single standing ranges that act as dual ovens. We've got, um, you know, steam cooking and all the Samsung appliances. We've got convection ovens. We've got smart appliances as well. Uh, you know, you can get online and read about the Family Hub, which is kind of like a, a basis system for a smart house. So we're a couple light bulbs away, uh, a couple doorknobs away from being a, considered a light home if you get the Family Hub fridge for us. And that's, that would already be installed here at the factory for you. So um, again, there's been a lot of information on this. I'm kind of reading off a standards list, obviously. 
That list is available uh, on our website in all of our brochures. Your builder has copies of that. I'm also uh, I'm also going over a lot of options in my head, and the way that you get a hold of those and you you see what those options are is as you meet with your builder, you're going to get a product guide and you're going to be able to go through that guide page by page and look at these cabinet options and look at these door and trim options and say yes, I want this or no, this isn't me. Um, you're going to have a ton of opportunity to not only uh, research that, but to also quote it out through your builder. And then again, one of the other big punches we have is, as a modular construction company is once we give you a price, uh, it doesn't get changed later. So we've got a very simple pricing system. Uh, you're going to understand it. You're going to understand your full cost. You're not going to be operating on a bunch of allowances and then find out later that your your taste was not within your allow- allowed budget. Uh, all that stuff's going to be taken care of for you with your builder. So if you're intrigued about this, uh, if you're ready to take the next step, all you have to do is reach out to us, um, info at rochesterhomesinc.com. Get on our website. There's about a million ways to get a hold of us through that. Get on the contact us area. Talk to our chat bot. If our chat bot's not answering your questions properly, you will get routed to a real person. Um, So we're here. Call our our number as well. And uh, we're ready to talk to you about all this interesting stuff and more. And we're ready to get you hooked up with your local builder who can help make all of these um all these really nice finishes come true in your home so uh hope you've enjoyed this little segment of the on the house podcast you can find it on itunes you can find it spreaker you can find it on the android marketplace anywhere where uh podcasts are readily available and again please reach out to us with any questions any ideas for topics we'd love to answer what uh what questions you have here on the podcast next time and thanks for watching